We want to build links at sites that are in favor with Google, the sites that Google loves the most and tends to rank the highest. In doing so, we will make sure that our links are indexed quickly and that they may have a higher weight than a link at a site that isn't in such favor with Google and does not rank as high naturally and on its own. And to do this, we're going to use the Crowd Mountain Snooper tool. The Crowd Mountain Snooper tool aggregates data as far as which sites tend to rank the highest in Google that we can actually build links on. We'll take that data and determine where we should build links for our own site. So let's go over to the Snooper. You've probably already had a look at it as it's been available inside your Crowd Mountain members area. But let's show you specifically how we're going to use it today in building links for our websites. Here's our Crowd Mountain Snooper, and what I want you to do initially is build links within your niche and only on sites that are related to or already involved in your niche. So to do so, we're going to enter in a set of keywords into the search box separated by commas. You can enter in up to 10 keywords, and I suggest that you use your main keyword and your category keywords. Now, I only have uh, six categories that I'm using, my main keyword plus five sub keywords, and I do want to enter a total of 10 keywords because that'll give us the most data here. So I've added a couple other permutations, like my main keyword is juice cleanse. I've also added juice cleansing. Uh, one of my subcategories is juice fast, so I'm using juice fasting as well, so that we have a couple different permutations to get all the way up to 10 different keywords. And once you've done that, click search. And the snooper will go out, and check out the top Google results for each of your keywords. And once we get our overall URL frequency down here at the bottom left, that's the data that we're looking for. We don't care about the individual data per keyword. We're looking for the overall data. Here's our overall URL frequency, and you'll click Expand. And then I'll tell you exactly what we're looking for here. We want to find sites that are specific to our niche and our sites that we can leave comments or other kinds of content on, like a forum, you might be able to have a signature. So we want to avoid social media sites, like up here, easy and articles, uh, what else do we have, YouTube, um, eHow, Viddler, TypePad, those are all social media type sites where you can post your own content, and we're not going to do that right now. Instead, we're going to introduce ourselves to our niche by being involved in our niche, and that's a very natural way of doing so. Most people, they get started in a niche, they start a blog because they love a topic and they talk to other people who have blogs in their topic, and then they start branching out and finding other ways to promote their site, perhaps with bookmarking or with a YouTube account or whatever it might be. So we're going to try to emulate that kind of behavior by firstly posting links or comments, etc., to sites that are specific and involved in our niche. So let's go to CureZone.com, and I'll open that tab, and we're going to see if CureZone is a site that allows us to have comments or other kinds of content. And this was the forum that we saw originally when we did our uh, sponge research and trying to understand our niche. And that's another place that you can look. Most likely when you did your research, you found a blog or two that are involved in your niche, and you can just go straight to those and post a few comments on their articles. But if you don't have anything like that, then you can do it through the Snooper and find sites that are in your niche that you can leave comments on. So at a forum, I like to find out if the site allows me to have a signature in my posts. And I remember that this forum had a specific place just for master cleanse information. So you'll find on any forums that you come across where people post about your specific topic. If it's the whole forum, great. If it's not, that's fine. And then I'm going to click through a couple of posts here and see if I can find anyone with a signature. If somebody has signatures, then that means I can probably have one too, and I want that. I only want to be on forums where I can have a signature because it doesn't do me any good to not have a signature in my post because that's where I get my link back. 
So I don't see a signature on this person's. Let's see this person's now. No signature. No signature. No signature. We can link and it's a redirect link. I'm looking in my browser status bar. I can see that it's a redirect, but that's okay. And let's see, Dr. Oz, blah, 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 no signature. So it looks like we can't have signatures. Next, I'm gonna click on a couple of usernames and see if the usernames allow people to put like their URL in their username. So let's take a look. Okay, this just gives me the person's, all of their posts. It doesn't actually give me like a profile on the person. So this doesn't really interest me as far as being able to put a URL in my forum profile, but I can link within a post. So let's find a post then that we can reply to with some informative answer. And we'll just take a look at different posts in the forum and see if any are something that I can reply to and say something intelligent about. You don't want to spam the forums. You want to be informative, be helpful. It's really not a good idea to do what I'm about to do right now. I'll be entirely honest to pop up on a forum and post a link. Um, if you can have a signature and that's okay in a forum, then do that. But to just go and answer a question with a link to your site is generally kind of bad etiquette, but I'm going to do it anyway just to kind of show you the process. But uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that on the regular. Instead, I would post a post or two with some information without a link and then maybe on your fourth or fifth or whatever post. And you can do those all in a row. I mean, they don't have to be, uh, you know, days apart. Just, just do it, get it done and get off the site. Uh, but generally don't post a link right away. Give yourself some time or at least some history on the site when somebody looks at other posts that you have and they see that you didn't post a link on every single post that you have, then they'll probably let your link re remain. And a lot of forums also have an FAQ section or a rules section where you can read their rules. I don't for the purposes of link building, spend a lot of time on forums, getting to know people and establish myself as an expert in my niche. That's something that we'll talk about in our next module about social networking. So for the purposes of this module, which is about SEO and about link building, all that we care about is getting up a link on these sites. And of course we want that link to stick. So we need to do it in such a way that we're abiding by the forum rules. So like most forums, before you can post, you'll need to join and fill out a form to do so. So I filled out the forum thingy and to sign up and then we'll do a sign up and we'll see if they make us confirm our email address. Oh good, we don't have to. So we'll go to the last page that we were visiting, which is here. Somebody's asking, I'm on day four of the master cleanse. Uh, but I have yet to have any one of the large BMs, bowel movements people are talking about. Um, is this normal, basically, is what she's asking. So I can reply to that message, and I'm going to also include a link to my site when I do so. So we'll reply to the message. So I created a post that says, I've been doing a lot of research as I'm about to start my first juice cleanse, and I think it's considered a normal side effect on the master cleanse to have constipation. Our bodies all react differently, you know? About.com had a page do a search that mentioned constipation and so did a blogger I was just at, and then there's my link. Said it was pretty common. Headaches too. I'm worried about getting headaches as I already get them frequently, but hopefully the master cleanse will help with that. Now, I know in the beginning introductory video I talked to you about using your anchor text and you do want to use your anchor text for your keyword as much as possible when it's linked, but I have my keyword in my URL and I am trying to stay under the radar on this site because I don't want them to just delete my posts. And if I do a keyword rich anchor text link on my very first post on the site, they will probably delete it because they know that people do things like this, this to build link juice to their site. If I were doing this as I normally would and I was posting a couple of posts first without my link, then I would go ahead and post my link later on but I'm not going to right now because I'm showing you how to do this and I'm just posting a post right away. So normally post 
three to five notes on the site and then include a link to your site with your main keyword as the anchor text. Unless, of course, the site allows you to have a signature line from the start, in which case just post whatever you want and have your anchor text link in your signature. And once we've filled out our posting form, then we will send our message. All right, success, our message was accepted and we can view our message. Here it is, there's our link, very good. Next, we go back to the snooper and we find the next site on our list that is not a social media site, but is instead a site related specifically to our niche. In this case, I came up with healthrecipes.com. So this looks like a recipe site and oftentimes these don't have a way to add links, but we'll click on one of these articles and see if they have a comments form or anything like that in which I can add a link to my site and it looks like this site doesn't have anything like that so it doesn't really interest us we'll see if there's a blog section in the sidebar or maybe in the footer nope nothing like that up here recipes weight loss topics nutrition topics okay this doesn't have anywhere for me to add a link so I'm gonna go back to the snooper and find falconblanco.com and we will open that and see if there's anywhere where we can add a link there Oh, I remember this site. We found this in our original sponge research. And this site, if I remember, is super old school and does not have anywhere where you can add links. No, nothing here to add links. So we'll go back to the snooper and we'll go to juicefasting.org, which is the next one on our list that is not a social media site. And we'll see what they have to offer us. This is a main article, contact webmaster. We'll see if they have a blog section. We're looking, blogs in particular are very common because you can, in general, always add comments to them. So let's see, fasting improves your health. Let's take a look at this article. We're gonna make sure that everything here is just an articles page, which it is. We've got nowhere to add comments here, so we'll go to the next one on our list, which is we've got YouTube. That's a social media site. We don't want that. So then we'll go to the rawfoodsite.com and open that up and see what we've got. This is another site that we found in our original research in our niche. And we've got Master Cleanse Info. I don't see anything here like a blog. These are all probably articles, but we'll check them anyway. But this site also has a section for discussion groups. So we'll try the discussion group since the main area of the site doesn't have comments. And like most places, we need to register before we can post. So I'm going to register on the site and then we will post a link somewhere. Okay, it says my registration is complete. This place actually allows me to edit a profile and in my profile, I may be able to have a homepage URL. There it is. So let's add my homepage. And of course, your homepage is your website and then save your changes and as long as you post on this forum now your profile page will get indexed by Google because just like this there will be a link to your profile and Google will see that and you'll have an actual link in your profile so we don't even need to make a post with a link in it so let's just find somewhere where we can create a post and then that will create a link to our profile and then Google will index that and see another link to our site. And in looking at this forum a little further, I'm seeing that people are posting links in their posts directly to their own sites and they're also posting signature links. And so people have extensive signatures here that seems to be allowed. So I want to change my signature as well so that I can create a link that way too. So I'm back in my profile and I'm going to click edit signature and I'll create a signature here. And I've used their little editing buttons to create a signature that says my new and then juice cleanse blog and juice cleanse are the words that are linked because in this case we're able to link to our site with our anchor text because that is allowed in this forum. So I'll click preview just to make sure that it shows up right. And there's our preview. It says my new juice cleanse blog and we'll do save signature. 
Uh, so I created a quick reply to a post that was saying, how did you find the Master Cleanse on this forum? And I just said, I found the Master Cleanse via a book I bought on general detox, both with juicing and saunas and the like. I found this forum from a Google search and have been lurking forever, but finally took the leap to join in. And show your signature. We want that to be checked, of course, if a site has that option. And then we post our message. Here it is. And there's a link to my site. And if you go to my profile and see our public profile, then you'll also be able to see my link in my public profile as well. So that's two places from my signature, my homepage, where Google can index and count a link for my site. So we'll take a look at more non-social media type sites that we find, sites specific to our niche. Here's one, and we'll see if we can post any links there. And we've got Viddler, TypePad, and Suite 101. Those are all social media sites. We'll also go to wellsphere.com and Freedom U. I'm not sure what that is, so we'll check it out. And mastercleanser.com. These are all sites that are specific to my niche, and I want to check out and see if I can post links, comments, forum posts, anything like that on them. So I'm opening up several at once so I don't have to keep coming back to this page. Articles based, that's a social media site. Um, and we'll see if any of these are appropriate for posting links on. Wellsphere. Leading health writers. Maybe you can be a writer here. Let's see if there's a place where we can post any kind of article. Well pages, we'll check that out. This might be a, a social media type site, but that's specific to our niche. And this Wellsphere site looks like it's actually some sort of social media site specifically for wellness and health type information. So I haven't seen this before, and I'm going to go ahead and sign up so that I can add some of my own content to it. And this site actually allows me to add blog posts. So I will create a blog post and I will use one of the articles that I selected in JetSpinner to create my blog post. So I've just pasted in one of the pre-spun titles and bodies of an article that JetSpinner created for me and that I downloaded in my zip file. I am not going to include my resource box in this because this is supposed to be a blog post on a social networking site. It would be unnatural for me to use a resource box. Instead, what I want to do is take an instance of my keyword anywhere in this article and link to my site with it. So here's Juice Cleanse. So I'll do that and then click HTML and then we'll create a link and link that keyword to our site. And this gives me the whole HTML version of my article, so I'll have to do it manually. And as you can see here, I added my tag to link to my site with Juice Cleanse, which is my main keyword, as my anchor text. And then we'll click Update, and that has changed my article to include a link to my site. Very good. And we can click Post. And here's my article with my link in it. Very good. We've got a link from this site. So we're done there and we'll move on to the next one. This is Freedom U. They have a bulletin board up here. We'll see if they have uh, the ability to add comments to any of their articles. They don't. So we'll go directly to the bulletin board and we'll create an account there and do some kind of posting there as well. And as we can see from other people's posts to this forum, they do allow signatures, so we'll create a signature line for our posts on this forum. So we'll try user control panel, and we'll enter in our website. And we've created a signature line that says, I heart a good juice cleanse. And then we just need to find a place to post. And one of the good places in a lot of forums to post is an introduction forum where you can introduce yourself because you pretty much can't muck that up if you just say, hey, I'm new here. It's nice to meet everyone. Uh, but if people have a questions area, you can go in and answer a question. And again, since this forum allows signature lines and it also allows me to have my URL in my profile, it's not necessary for me to actually link to my site within my post. 
and that's just you know creating many many links and uh, once you establish yourself in a forum if you decide to participate in one over and over again you can do that but in the beginning that might be a bit too much for the forum moderators to take so just answer a question with some informative information and then post to the forum and your signature will include your link so I've created an answer to someone's question and I'm going to preview it and check it out. Here it is up here and there's my signature line with my keyword in my anchor text. Very good. We can post our answer and then we're done at this site. Let's view our message. Make sure it turned up good. And there it is. Excellent. So we can X out of here and check out our other sites. Here's a site just for the Master Cleanser, and it looks like this is an article site, but they do have a link to a discussion forum. We'll see if they allow comments. They don't. So let's go to the discussion forum, and we will leave a forum post. This site actually allows me to create my signature line as I am creating my profile, so I'm going to do that now rather than later, of course. So I've created a post and of course we want to attach our signature and then click submit. And there's our post with our keyword in our anchor text and if we go to our profile too that will link to our site. So we've got a couple of links from this site as well. This site has a blog, very good, so let's check that out and see if we can leave some links on that. Excellent, this looks like it's an actual old-fashioned WordPress blog. So we'll go ahead and leave a comment on the most recent post. So let's read what that post is about so we can leave a relevant comment. And one of the things that I like to do when leaving blog posts uh, and comments is that your name is what's going to be linked in your comment. And so what a lot of people do is they use their anchor text in the name field. However, that creates a situation where you're pretending like your name is your keyword. In my case, my name is would be Juice Cleanse. It's clearly not my name. And it makes it really obvious to the blog author that you are just attempting to get links to your site from using your keyword as your anchor text as your name in the blog comments field. So we don't want to irritate blog authors in that manner. Instead, what I do is use my keyword followed by my name as if I go by Juice Cleanse Kylie uh, so that it creates an experience where they actually get to know my name or in this case my pseudonym and sometimes people go by things like that like on Twitter there's Ask Mr. Video and I can be Juice Cleanse Kylie and it allows me to actually post a link and yet still be a person and still get my anchor text in there and I find that I have a much higher success rate with my blog comments being approved and staying on a site if I use this as opposed to just my main keyword it makes it a little bit more personal and of course you want your blog comment to be relevant to what they wrote which is what I've done here you'll need to put in your email and then of course your website link and then click submit comment on whatever blog you're at. And this lets me know that my comment is awaiting moderation. Sometimes your comments will show up immediately and sometimes they'll be moderated. So this blog owner has the privilege of either approving or denying my comment and it's entirely up to them what they want to do and whether my comment goes live. So that's part of the way that it goes with blog comments and that's fine. We'll move on to the next site. Here's our next site. This is another one that we saw when we were doing our initial research in this niche and this is a blog so we can just leave a comment. So I'll find an article that I like here and click comments. So I've left a comment relevant to the post and we'll submit it. And this time it looks like our post appeared immediately. It's not awaiting moderation and there's a link to our site right there. And you may have heard about the whole no follow thing and that sometimes blog comments use an attribute called nofollow that we've talked about in previous modules. Don't worry about it. A link is a link is a link. Yes, a follow link is probably credited more in the search engines. However, having more links is better. If some of those links are nofollow links, it doesn't make a huge difference. I've done multiple, multiple tests and studies on this. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't worth the time, trust me. And I wouldn't be telling you to do it if it wasn't worth the time. So we do want to leave links on blogs, and it does not matter whether they are follow or nofollow or whatever. 
leave your links up there. The more links that you have, the better. Here's another blog that is about detox and they have some information on master cleanse and stuff like that. It looks like they allow comments, so we're going to want to add a comment here as well. And this site says you must be logged in to post a comment, so we'll see if they will allow us to create a username and password. It looks like we can't, so basically comments are closed here, so we can't post here. Here's another very uh, loud site, and there's an email us, contact us, um, lemonade diet and fasting. We'll see if they have an opportunity to leave comments on articles here or if it is just a, a big bright page. Yeah, it looks like it. So this site does not allow us to leave a link, so we'll leave it be. And we'll open up a few more tabs and see if there's anywhere else that we can leave links. Now we're up here in uh, five results. That means that five times this site appeared in all of these results. We want to go down to all the way down three, 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 go down to two at least when we're doing this and leave links on as many places as possible in our niche. Again, we're starting with these sites because that is how people normally start is they get involved in their niche, they leave comments and participate in forums before they start going out to places like Squidoo and creating lenses and things like that. This site has a daily updates. That sounds like a blog. So we'll see if we can leave a link there. And again, I've used my keyword and name for my comments so that I am a real person as opposed to just a link builder. And of course, I have created a comment that is relevant to the post itself. And this comment is awaiting moderation, so we can move on to the next this site looks like it's a, we've been here before, but I don't think that they have any opportunities to put links on their sites. No link building here. Next site. Here's a link to Arden's story. Maybe this is a blog. No, it's not. So cleansing locations, contact. So this site's no good to us. And this one, drbenkim.com looks like it has a blog but we need to find a post that's related to our topic because it looks like this is just general health. So I need to find something that's about more like specific to juice cleansing. So there's an article. Oh, they don't let you put comments. No comments on the articles. Bummer. Even though it looks blog like, I guess that they don't allow them. So we'll get out of here. And here's another one. We'll go to his main blog as blogs usually allow comments. If you are seeing this, my redirects are messed up. And all right, so let's go to his blog. Find a post that's related to our topic because this gentleman posts about several different things. So we'll find a post that's actually related and then leave a comment. So there's our comment and we'll submit. And it's awaiting moderation, very good. This site is a diet encyclopedia and they actually allow people to leave comments. Oh, comments are closed. But if I found one that was open, I could add a comment. So here's one that I just found in the sidebar about an apple cider vinegar diet. And that's kind of related to juice cleansing. So I can go ahead and leave a comment here. This one happens to have open comments. So that works for me. And there's my post. And there's my link. Excellent. So I want you to have gone through the snooper in your individual niche down through the two results level. And this will give you lots and lots of links in your niche that are linking back to your site. Some of them will be forums. Some of them will be blogs. And you might be like me where you find a site like wellsphere.com, which was a social networking site devoted to my niche specifically. So go out there, get your links out there, introduce yourself to the community and start building some authority towards your site in your specific niche. See you in the next video.